Veterans, America has a deal for you. Forget about a good job that's a career or something like a long-term manufacturing job, making things, or a job with a pension or a good health insurance plan. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Forget about going to college or trade school like your parents or grandparents did uh, on the GI Bill. Because Walmart has a deal for you. You, too, can work at Walmart where even if you do all your shopping at Walmart, your paycheck still won't cover your cost of living, so you qualify for things like Medicaid and food stamps. Walmart says they're going to hire 100,000 vets over the next year. Isn't that wonderful? The five heirs to Sam Walton's Walmart fortune have more wealth than the bottom 43% of all Americans, and they're willing to let you veterans add to their wealth. Ditto for Walmart's CEO, who instead of the $9 an hour that you can make at Walmart, makes around $9,000 an hour. He's quite pleased to offer you a job for less than $9 an hour. So if you can work 1,000 hours, around a half a year at full time, you can make as much as the CEO makes in one hour. Aren't you lucky? And Walmart will probably get a healthy tax credit and will definitely get a tax deduction for hiring you According to Bloomberg, that tax deduction could be up to $960 million. But don't expect to see any of that money. Tax breaks go to rich people, after all, like Walmart's CEO and its major shareholders. And eh, you're just one of the peons, right? But still, you get a job, right? How does Walmart know they can hire you? Well, because so many of Walmart's employees are so poorly paid and treated that lots of their associates are leaving their jobs every day. So there's always room for you especially with that nice, fat new tax break for Walmart if they hire you veterans. Whatever skills you learned in the military, from supervising construction to IT to office work, you can just set that stuff aside. Instead, you're going to be stocking shelves and running cash registers and greeting shoppers at the door and earning so little money that you and your kids will still qualify for food stamps. Isn't that great? When Sam Walton started Walmart, he was proud that pretty much everything in his store was made here in the good old USA. I remember living in Atlanta. One of the very first Walmarts in Georgia opened just north of us. Louise and I drove out there. Big banner right across the front. You know, it was uh, it painted on one of these big giant sheets of cloth. It said, uh, I, as my recollection is, it said 100%. It might, that part I might not be absolutely right on, but it said made in the USA. You won't see that sign on a Walmart anymore. When Congress changed our trade laws in the 80s and 90s, this, was, this would have been back in the uh, early 80s, to give companies tax breaks to move their factories overseas, Sam and his heirs took down that proud Made in USA sign, uh, which used to decorate the stores. Instead, they scoured the planet for the cheapest stuff they could find, and they found a lot of it. Cheap stuff, lousy pay, virtually no benefits, not a chance for a union. Walmart has figured out how to squeeze out billions from its workers that it can pass along to its stockholders. But, of course, none of that is for you. You're just a peon, right? But a peon with a job. The true tragedy here isn't, speaking seriously, the true tragedy here isn't that Walmart is paying so poorly or that they're getting you know, hundreds of millions of dollars of your and my tax dollars to give newly released vets a poor paying, no real benefits job. The real tragedy is that there aren't tens of thousands of factories across the country that would offer you a much better job with much better pay and benefits. And that is because of 30 years of insane trade policies. Instead of papering over the damage so-called free trade has done to America, like the loss of over 50,000 factories and tens of millions of good jobs. And that's just since 2000. Our lawmakers should for focus on bringing home our factories. Then, when we bring home our soldiers, there will be real jobs with good wages and benefits waiting for them.